Thank you to Sega and Atlas for sponsoring this content. A playable demo of this game is available now, with progress that carries over to the main game. Seems like 2024 just won't stop with hit after hit and effortlessly draining our pockets. I mean, we complain about it, but then we go and still buy every game that we can anyways and stare at our pile of unplayed games in disbelief like we can't believe how it happened. Even though, yeah, we totally know how that happened. Now continuing the gaming arms race with the never-ending barrage of game releases is the brand new RPG from the folks at Atlas and Studio Zero. What makes that fact significant is these creative minds are responsible for classics and hits such as Persona 3, Persona 4, and even the forever milked but awesome Persona 5. Metaphor Re Fantasio is set in a very unique fantasy world that sets you as the main character as you journey alongside your fairy friend named Galica as you set out on a mission to lift a curse from the kingdom's fallen prince by utilizing your archetype powers by literally ripping your heart out, which took me by surprise, but it is super hardcore, you unlock that power's dormant deep within yourself which gives you the ability to not only take on way stronger foes that stand in your way of truth and justice, but is also able to channel your newfound power and combine all of them to unique job classes that aim to make you even more powerful than ever as you attempt to find new allies and strengthen the bond with your own party members to further improve their skills and abilities as well. Focusing on high fantasy that includes things like magic and discovery, you're tasked with uncovering the many mysteries that await you in the United Kingdom of Ukronia as you step your little feet onto the stage of a grand RPG venture that has you trying to navigate the ongoing chaos that ensues all around you. But what is found here is our protagonist not named Poopyhead like mine is named, who is a member of the hated and often persecuted Elda tribe as you try to find questions about both the fallen king and its prince and trying to repair the severely fractured alliances of tribes that were once so strong, with each scenario you find yourself in showing you that no matter what part of the world you're in, familiar or foreign to you, they all contain their own type of relationships and even harsh prejudices due to politics and power grabs, near much of what we experience in our own real lives at every corner of the earth. Metaphor Re Fantasio exuberates much of the same anime aesthetic as you find within the Persona line of games that serves purpose to the backdrop of the constantly unfolding drama that keeps you captivated 10 hours in, 20 hours in, and upwards due to the detailed environments and the heavy themes of personal growth, anxiety, and the inner struggle people go through via social aspects. Again, much like you have experienced in titles from the Persona series, but more than a mere copy. You can choose to just enrich your brain in the game's lore and hardships of the civilians and the tribes around you, go dungeon crawling to find more secrets and get stronger, complete main mission scenarios, take on side quests for people in need, and even building relationships with your companions, when in relation to the combat grants them new abilities and strengths the further your bond is raised. Now why can't that work in real life? Bond with a friend, get a free cheeseburger. Come on real life, get with the program. Give us some more RPG elements already. I feel like we deserve it. Metaphor as a title made by industry greats that aims to stand outside the shadows of previous franchises forms its own identity and takes its combat system in a very unique path as well. Combining elements you'd expect from the creators of Persona with turn-based combat and gluing it together with real-time action sort of feels like a redefinition of the Persona series, and even with the recent Shin Megami Tensei 5 due to a feature known as Push Turn. By using this combat mechanic, players are rewarded for using your brain to exploit any and all of your enemy's weaknesses to figure out how to get the jump on them and giving yourself extra turns in the process. See someone in the overworld? What up, sucka? Bam! Slice them and immediately take advantage. This works extremely well in regards to which archetype you actively have equipped with the class system, whether you want to be a warrior, a mage, or even a healer type. Flexibility is key, and the game allows you to switch any time from class to class for all your companions immediately outside of battle. 
so you can always change up when you need to, just in case you come across a nasty foe that may need a tad bit more strategizing. By picking and choosing which character gets what archetype and class, you are offered a very in-depth combat system that keeps you on your toes 100% of the time. Shifting focus away from the romantic relationship aspect of the Persona series, Metaphor puts entirely new emphasis on forging your own alliances and earning the trust of many other factions by exploring the harbored anger or hate and tensions between the many tribes that exist within Ukronia itself that has you juggling between their own set of beliefs and struggles that you may or may not entirely agree with. With strategically made combat system that harkens back to the class systems of older RPGs you know and love, lore that makes you think about your actions, tribes, companions, and the mystery of the royal tournament, time management by making any second count by camping and interacting with party members to unlock new abilities with deeper bonds, great art style, intricate storytelling, Metaphor ReFantasio is shaping up to be one of this year's top tier RPGs that aims to please not only newcomers to the RPG genre, but also longtime fans of the Persona series as well. It definitely has an upside to it, no question, but you can only experience the themes of personal and society conflict in this story-driven narrative by playing the game your dang self and see if it takes a hold of you too once you see those end credits roll. Awaken your inner archetype on Xbox and PC with Metaphor ReFantasio, out now!